Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin, back in Italy, back in the studio, and you know, there are friends and friends. And then there are people like Brian Waters that call you in the middle of your holiday to tell you, hey, I have an idea, would you like to participate in... The idea is so cool and the trailer is so stunning that I couldn't say no. So I said, yes, absolutely, count me in, I want to be on board on this. And I thought it might be interesting for some of you if I will do some kind of diary now, what exactly are my steps in scoring that trailer. And in today's video, I just would like to show you now how to import the movie and the audio files into Logic and then set some markers and create a beat map that everything will be ready to be scored. Then in the second episode, we will talk about the libraries that I will choose, why I choose them, how I will use them, what I have in mind. And in the third video, we might go into details about my musical choices then. And then when the YouTube will be ready with everything, um, then you will see the whole clip today. I won't show you the whole clip already. That's it, I think. Let's do it. And if you don't want to miss this and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please just hit that little subscribe button. It means a lot to me. I'm so close to 2000. Thank you for your support. So in Logic, we will simply open a new template which I called the hybrid starter. It's an old template, uh, but you know, it, it gets me going. And then I go to file, movie, import, movie. There it comes. It's on the desktop in the folder colony. And there we do have colony silent and the movie is imported. It asks me how I would like to have the frame rate. I accept the 24 frames per second and then I just would like to show you I do have here the Cork Nano Control and I programmed it in a way that if I hit the buttons then useful windows open and close like in this case the movie window. There is a link to the tutorial where I show you how to program your Nano Control in Logic if you should have one. And then I create quickly an audio track. And in this audio track, which is the first one, I will import the colony sound effects. Then we create a new audio track in which we will import the colony speech. Obviously, I have seen the movie already. As I said, I don't want to spoil it too much. So I will just go to the critical spaces where I think markers would be cool to then create that beatmap beat map, so I can have it like every important thing that happens. I have a count in on one or something ends on a four. One, two, three, four. Silence. You know, these things, to score really these things, then this beat mapping is quite useful. I do have here, I do have the movie track. I create this one for the markers. I create this one for the tempo and I create this one for the beat mapping. And then I will just bring the markers next to the beat mapping because I will need it exactly like this. So in this movie, which is a very cool sci-fi action thing, I think 120 is a good tempo. We will go through this, we will go through this and then there comes this point where he says something like, um, let's name the audio tracks speech the other one is then only the s fix okay so he says before we knew it they were coming okay maybe not worth a marker this can all go in the flow yet well now they're here this one is interesting well now they're here so i would like to have something that really gives me the possibility to do something when he says now they are here so more or less there i simply create a marker which i call now they are here well now they're here it continues and then here we have boom mayhem and chaos <laughs> happening so obviously here we will place something at the very edge of silence like a bram <laughs> <laughs> something like this and I would like to have it exactly coming with the picture here marker set we call this marker action 
to don't call it we continue the as i know we've become the colony i love that phrase we've become the colony so here when this one is set it's completely dark and then he starts talking so i need a marker here which we call we are the colony or we've become the colony we've become and then there's the last boom exactly here there is that picture and on that picture i want something to happen which i just call the end okay i do have now my four markers i see them here in the markers i need to select them and i need to fix their smpte position otherwise if i change the speed even those markers will be moving we don't want that we want that markers to be fixed locked on the picture it doesn't matter what speed we come in or we come out or whatever and then we go back to the first marker i do blend out the pictures as i said i don't want to spoil it too much and then we go to that first marker now they are here so that marker i really want that marker to end on a beat then at one two three something like that so i just you know select the marker I go to the next beat, which is in this case 19, 3, and I collect them. You see, there comes this line, snaps in, suck. There it is. So until here, the tempo is 120, and now on 19, 3, I have that phrase. So I can do something there. And then we go to the next, which is the action. And I suggest the action is more towards 21 than it is towards 20. We connect it to 21. So you see, the movie starts at 120, as we said. It needed to alter it a little bit, but it nearly is. And then there comes this tempo, which forces those um, beats into that time frame that we've chosen. And then on marker, action two, I want to continue with the speed of 120. So the music continues on 120 to that. We've become the colony. We've become the colony is really, really close to bar 26. We select the marker, we go to 26, we connect this, zack. We do have it on 26. We set a time point here. The movie here then goes on 119, 50. That's cool, that's still 120. And then there's the last marker, which is the end. And that one, we drag it to 27, like this. And then here, I go up to, for the final picture, something like 150. Now I show you what's happening. Um, if we go back to the markers, so you can see, I mean, I can quickly switch this on. I switch the metronome on, the speech on, and then we have this. Well, no. you see, one, two, well, three. Now they're here. And then on one, I have again the action we can put on a little bit maybe the effects so you see what exactly is this beat mapping for it goes from here well, silence now they're here one. exactly when the action begins it's on one it continues like this and then here it's the exact same thing we've become the colony and then there's the end and, and this one now is exactly one bar and this is exactly what i need now to score my movie i have markers set that i can write the music to know your tools know your libraries this is what i always say in my videos you know this and that's it for today just to let you know i shot tons of material in munich for the upcoming videos more reviews more tutorials more over the shoulders of the last project i finished it now i'm allowed to talk about so as i said before if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe it's for free hit that little button then you won't miss anything and in a few days i will publish the second of this series where i will choose the libraries that i will use for that trailer and i will even justify if you will why i've choose this and that and whatever library maybe only one maybe 10 different libraries we will see see you in the next video or in the next live stream 
make good music always. Bye-bye.